<laughs> so we're returning to the villains sketches. Oh, good. And the Haunted Mansion yes. is providing us a fantastic villain this time and the first lady of the group. Oh, good. Finally. Finally, some representation <laughs> for the ladies. That's right. This is the Black Widow Bride mm. who hangs out in the attic at the Haunted Mansion. Yes. And when I was a kid, I w- first of all, I went to Disney when I was a kid. <laughs> Rub it in. Unlike you. Yeah. <laughs> and she didn't have a hatchet back then. Right. She uh, she kind of hovered in the back of the attic yeah. by this rotten wedding cake. And I, I kind of got the idea that they were paying tribute to Mrs. Havisham mm. from Dickens' Great Expectations and her rotten cake. Okay. You know, when I was in high school, yeah. I was in a band uh-huh. called Mrs. Havisham's Rotten Cake. <laughs> Awful. We were. We were terrible. But we had great expectations. (laughs) Horrible. Horrible. Anyway, (laughs) the bride in the attic had this glowing, thumping heart that you could see in her chest cavity. And and you could hear it as soon as you got into the attic. You could hear it. And for some reason, it was scary. Right. So I don't know if that was some sort of reference to a jilted bride's broken heart. Yeah. Or if they were making some sort of reference to Poe's telltale heart, if Uh, some crime had been committed. Right. But regardless, originally, I didn't think she was a villain. Right. But then they changed her storyline. Yeah. During some sort of revamp. Yeah. Some refurbishment. And they gave her an axe, and they called her Constance Hatchaway. That's a little on the nose. Right? Yeah. Then she truly is a villain because I think she has killed, lopped off the heads of at least five husbands. Wow. Yeah. She fits our list of villains. I'd say. Yeah. Um, I don't know where these stories, by the way, how they change over the years. I don't know if they still have story people working on the mansion. Right. Because I don't know. You said you said earlier, I don't know if they even had a story. Right, right. When they started the Haunted Mansion. Yeah. I mean... Ghosts and, and, you know, trying to get you to, turn stay. Into, to stay, right? But other than that, I don't know if there was much background to the Yeah, characters. we've seen the Raleigh Crump interviews, and it seemed like they were just throwing anything at the wall, and if right. it stuck, <laughs> if it worked, that was good. Yeah. But I think over the years, people start talking about the characters, and they want to know more about them. Right. And they, they so want to know more that sometimes they start, the fans just start making up stuff. Yeah. And sometimes it will stick. Sometimes yeah. the writers or the Imagineers will retcon that stuff into canon. Yeah. And it will become part of the Haunted Mansion story. Right. Exactly. Like the ring. The wedding ring. Yeah. Outside the Haunted Mansion. Mm-hmm. You used to be able to see the top sheared off metal edge from a pipe they cut a off. A sawed off pipe. Yeah. So You it... sawed off little <laughs> pipe. <laughs> so it was left embedded in the ground and it was a ring shaped you know, from the pipe. I remember that. So, yeah, people said that was the bride's ring that got embedded into the concrete. And, and this is just a rumor that was going around. This was right. kind of like yeah. a, a fan theory. Yeah. And then you'd read it on the internet and then you'd go there and try to find it. Right. But then that theory kind of took off. Yes. And it became so well known that right. the Imagineers did something. They actually changed things. Yeah. When they redid the queue, they put in a, an actual engagement ring. So it looks like, I have not gone to find the new ring yet, by the way. Yeah. But it actually looks like a real engagement ring with a a stone setting. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. So they listen to the fans. Yeah, I think that's really kind of nice that if something gets enough steam and enough traction that Disney will sometimes listen to what the fans are saying and make it part of the story. Right. That's cool. That is cool. How can we turn this to our advantage? We need to start a rumor now about us. All right. (laughs) Something. Okay. Okay, I got something. I heard once that Captain Culpepper Klein, Haunted Mansion Ghost, Yes. always likes to let us into the park for free. Oh, he does. That's so nice. Get that started. (laughs) Get that rumor started. Put it out there. If we can get it going in six months, it's just in time. For vacation. (laughs) (laughs) Make sure part of the rumor is that we get a free dining plan. Brilliant. Okay, so this is a bonus inking. Yay. Of the Hatbox Ghost. Because it is Haunted Mansion adjacent. Yes. It is bride adjacent. Right. Now, we already have this posted. We do. Without commentary. 
Right. So if you've already seen this, there's no need to stick around. Yeah. You can go watch something else yeah. on YouTube, like a makeup tutorial. Right. Or someone playing video games. Or cooking. Cooking videos are very popular on YouTube. Yeah. I'm going to talk about the Hatbox Ghost. Yeah. Because he is a really cool ghost. He's really cool. Yeah. And I love his design. Mark Davis. Uh-huh. That face, that Mark Davis face. Oh, that face. Really appears, it's so iconic, it appears all over the mansion, doesn't it? I believe so, yeah. Because I've seen it hanging in portraits. Right. In that hallway. Yep. But I, I'm really almost positive that they used the same sculpt of this guy's skeleton head yeah. and one buggy eye for one of the hitchhiking ghosts. I think you're right there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ways not, what not. Yeah. But he does not appear in the mansion that we usually go to in Florida. Right. The Disney World does not have him. He is in Disneyland, though. Mm -hmm. I've been to Disneyland. Rub it in. But <laughs> I was not there when he resurfaced. Right, because he hasn't always been there. Right. He was there initially just for a short while. Like two days, I think they said. And, and it was... I don't think the, even the public got to see him. It might have been a cast member preview of the ride. Okay. It was glitchy. They, the technology just wasn't what they wanted for the it to animatronic. be. For the animatronic. Right. So they didn't want to install an animatronic that wasn't going to work for them. Makes sense. Okay. Perfectionists. Yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah. I'm guessing that there were some photos. Uh, yeah, there were. Floating around for decades. Right. And this thing also became such a legend that yeah. that they had to put it back in. Yeah, because the fans of, of this guy, I mean, it's crazy. He has a cult following, I think. Yeah. But the, he did return to the mansion. You know, technology grew, and, and they were able to, to put him back in in Yeah, so not the original animatronic, right? Correct. What year did you say, though? 2015. Okay. Yeah. So once they revamped the bride, I think he got the same technology as she did. It's like a projection. Projection on the face. Yeah. And then his head goes from where it should be into the hat box and back and forth while you're on the ride. We're going to have to go in and check him out sometime. I know we will. But you were telling me that, because I didn't know the history of the character. Yeah. I thought he was just some dude that hung out in an attic and had fun. Yeah. Bouncing his head back and forth between his shoulders and the right. hat box. scary ghost. Right. But now you recently told me that he, he might have been linked to the bride. Yeah. Which makes this a great backup feature to the bride inking. Right, exactly. So the internet tells me, I don't know how true this well, is. Well, I believe everything on the internet. Everything is true on the internet. But yeah, that he has like alternate names and one of them is the groom. The groom. Yeah. Well, he is dressed rather smartly. He is. For a fancy occasion. And he does kind of fit the storyline of her beheading her husband. Right. Because his head comes off. Right. I'll buy that. I think that's interesting. I think that's a good theory. If, if it is a theory, I, like I mean, that. it might be a, true. I think they're both kind of iconic ghosts. Yeah. And if they're linked in some way, I'm fine with that. She had five I, husbands. It she, have he could have been one of them. Could have been one. <laughs> she had five. I think right. her last husband was a, an owner of the mansion, the actual haunted mansion. Oh, okay. And that's why she settled there. She figured, enough beheading. Yeah. I like this joint. I'm going to stick around. Yeah. She's probably not happy that one of her other husbands is still there. <laughs> Boy, is he going to be bitter. <laughs> it probably is him mingled amongst the hitchhiking ghosts downstairs. Yeah, right? Like we said. <laughs> he probably saw his wife in the attic and thought, no. <laughs> right. I had enough of this one. I'm out of here. <laughs> and that's why you don't see the Hatbox ghost at the Florida Haunted Mansion. Oh, that's why. It makes sense. Yes. He's downstairs thumbing a ride. <laughs> These are fun characters. They are. We're going to do more Haunted Mansion soon. Oh, good.